Just go there. On board measurement system is activated by RON 2 command. At this time, the onboard systems have been switched to onboard control. The commander's cockpit displays and controls have been activated, and the crew members are closing their helmets, which puts them on suit oxygen. Now just three minutes from launch. Booster propellant tank pressurization initiated. At this time, the fuel lines and other elements of the rocket engines are purged with nitrogen to fireproof them by removing the vapors of fuel and oxidizer. The booster tank is now being pressurized for flight. This optimizes the flow of fuel and helps to add structural support to the rocket. Now two minutes from launch. Less than one minute to launch, there'll be a series of other commands, and then you'll see those umbilical towers, there's two, uh, start retracting from the Soyuz vehicle prior to launch. Vehicle to internal power. Vehicle is now on internal power. You can see the first umbilical tower retracted. Auto sequence initiated. Auto sequence is initiated. That second tower now retracting. Ten seconds from launch. Second umbilical tower separates. Engines have started and are now at the preliminary thrust level, throttling up. Engines at maximum thrust, lift off. And lift off. We have liftoff of Anne McLean to beat St. Jacques and Oleg Kononenko blasting through the Kazakh sky to the International Space Station. Copy. Everything looking good so far. Good first stage performance. Soyuz delivering 930,000 pounds of thrust. Copy. Everything is fine on board. 30 seconds into flight, all parameters are nominal. 30 seconds in, everything's still looking good. First stage will burn for two minutes, first two minutes and six seconds of the flight. The flight, uh, vehicle stabilization is steady, copy. 50 seconds, uh, chamber pressure is nominal. Everything looking good. Vehicle is stable. Good first stage performance. The ve uh, vehicle now traveling over 1,100 miles per hour. Everything is nominal. Uh, 
80 секунд. Все параметры работают. 80 секунд. All параметры are nominal. Copy. Is... One minute, 30 seconds into the flight, everything's still looking good. The stage again will burn for the f for until 1 minute, 58 seconds into the flight, and you'll see those four strap-on boosters jettison. 100 seconds. Copy. One hundred and ten seconds. Escape Tower has been um, jettisoned, and those four strap bomb boosters also jettisoned. They've completed their job and will drop away at an altitude of twenty-eight miles. Confirm. Now transitioning to an animation, you can see from the launch pad losing sight of the Soyuz, but getting good for, um, second stage performance. Uh, we're feeling fine, and everything is excellent on board. Uh, copy, and uh, a vehicle is stable. 150 seconds into flight. Second stage, this core stage, still performing uh, well. The launch shroud has been jettisoned, revealing the Soyuz underneath. Launch shroud jettisoned confirmed. This second stage will continue to burn until 4 minutes 43 seconds into the flight. 170 seconds into flight, all systems are operating nominally, copy. Everything looking good. This uh, second stage providing somewhere between 178,000 and 222,000 pounds of thrust. Seconds into flight, second stage, uh, thrusters are operating nominally. Copy. Everything's still looking good. One minute left of this second stage. Right in the middle of the animation, you'll see a lattice structure. That will be where the third stage will start to burn, begin a hot staging technique, start burning before the end of the uh, second stage, and actually push that second stage away. Seconds into flight, beach your roll. Parameters are all nominal. Copy. Everything's still looking good. About 10 more seconds of this second stage burning. Hundred and eighty seconds into flight. Second stage separation confirmed. And we have confirmation of a good second stage separation. The third stage is lit. Will burn for about four minutes and two seconds, providing sixty-seven thousand pounds of thrust. Two hundred seconds. Three hundred seconds. Um, Copy, and we're doing well. 310 seconds into flight, vehicle is steady. Five minutes, 30 seconds into the flight. We're in the third stage now. Everything's still looking good. Into flight. Third stage thrusters are operating nominally. The third stage will continue to burn until about uh, 8 minutes 45 seconds into the flight. Three hundred and fifty seconds into flight, everything is nominal. Everything is excellent on board the Soyuz, the crew is doing well. Good reports from the crew on board. They're feeling well as the third stage continues to burn now six minutes and 15 seconds into the flight. Thank you. 
400 seconds into flight, because civilization is steady. Copy. Seven minutes into the flight, everything's still looking good. Four hundred and thirty seconds into flight. All thrusters are operating nominally copy and we're feeling well. Still getting good reports from the crew, feeling well as we're 7 minutes 30 seconds into the flight. The velocity now almost 13,500 miles per hour. Once the third stage delivers the Soyuz to orbit and the module is separated, a series of pre-programmed commands will be executed to prepare the Soyuz for orbital operations. These stored commands, called time-tagged commands, allow many of the Soyuz systems to be automatically activated by onboard computers at precise times stored in those computers. Eight minutes into the flight, everything's still looking good. Again, this third stage burns until eight minutes 45 seconds. Four hundred and ninety seconds into flight, copy. Five hundred seconds into flight. Eight minutes thirty seconds into the flight, still looking good. Fifteen more seconds until third stage cutoff and separation. Five hundred and twenty seconds. Third stage separation is confirmed. And we have confirmation of third stage separation. Single liquid fueled engine has shut down and dropped away at an altitude of one hundred and twenty six statute miles. Congratulations with the uh, Everything's still looking good. The third stage is performing an avoidance maneuver by opening a valve in its liquid oxygen tank. Thank you very much for your support. Antares, this is Moscow. And we have confirmation of the uh, spacecraft separation, so use capsule and crew safely in orbit. The spacecraft is automatically executing its pre-program commands to deploy the antennas and solar arrays. Stage separation and uh, uh, you are go to close RPW-1 and RPW-2 airflow regulators. Copy. It's in work. RPW-1 and 2 valves have been closed and uh, no issues with uh, the indicator panel. Copy. And please proceed to page 39. Yes, copy. We'll put it in work. And you can carefully start AKG, monitoring the vehicle section. It has been initiated. Copy. TV activation command send copy. Контролируйте прохождение РДР. Please, please monitor uh, RDR uh, enable dynamic mode. Uh, yes, copy in work. 